And boy, do we have a lot of weather to talk about. The rain feels good out there. Court Clopping here to tell us how long it's going to last. Court. Kelly, it feels fantastic, and I highly recommend a couple of things today. One, having the umbrella handy, throwing on an extra layer to deal with the chilly temperatures, and giving yourself extra time to get to where you need to go. This wet and active weather we're seeing heading through is going to make those roads slick, and it's going to cause some big travel impacts in our mountain areas. Rain and snow today to the top of our weather alerts. We have the chance for thunderstorms as well. We're staying unsettled through Saturday, a break for Sunday for just in time for Easter. And then after that, we have more cool and wet weather likely next week. Now this morning we have the winter weather advisories in effect across our region through 1 p.m. this afternoon down to 4,000 feet in Trinity County through 11 p.m. this evening in areas of the Shasta County Mountains, Northern Sierra and Southern Cascades down to 4,500 feet. Additional foot of snowfall not out of the question in your forecast today. Right now we're in the 40s to low 50s in the valley, 30s to low 40s in the foothills, and we're in the 30s in most mountain areas starting your morning, so a little warmer than 24 hours ago. Winds are substantial. Get a look at this. Sustained winds 22 miles an hour out of the south in Chico, 23 miles an hour out of the south in Red Bluff. Winds today gusting in the 30 to 40 mile an hour range out of the south in the valley. Gusty winds in our higher elevations and foothills as well, although today it does look likely the winds will be strongest in the valley, but they'll diminish tonight and they'll stay on the lighter side in your Friday forecast. Satellite and radar. I've been tracking this rain moving back into Northern California overnight. You could see snow in Trinity County, rain heading into Shasta County in the valley. Now the heavier pocket of moisture made its way across I-5 just south of Redding. It's now in the Palisadro area. We're seeing lighter scattered showers south of Shasta County in the valley with some snow in the higher elevations of the northern Sierra this morning. All of this drawn in by this storm system along the coast of Oregon that's pulling that plume of moisture into northern California, leaving us with these unsettled conditions ahead for today. So as you get a look at your hyperlocal futurecast, pockets of rainfall likely throughout the day today. By the afternoon, we see some heavier rain likely in smaller pockets with a chance for thunderstorm activity. That chance for showers becomes a little bit less widespread overnight. We're mostly dry through the day Friday, which is pockets of light showers. And then Friday night into Saturday, that next wet system rolls in, leaves us with wet weather through the day Saturday, wrapping up by Saturday night with a lull on Sunday for Easter, but some clouds overhead. And then early next week, another wet system Monday into Tuesday. Great news for our rain totals. They are climbing. From this system through tonight, we're looking at around a half an inch of rain possible in Redding, around a third of an inch in Chico, higher elevations up to close to an inch of rainfall on the way. The next system packing the same type of punch, Redding up to an inch and a half of rainfall totals, Chico nine tenths of an inch with over three inches in some of our mountain areas, higher elevations looking at up to around six to seven inches of snowfall likely from this system through 9 p.m. tonight. And then the next system bringing an additional foot of snowfall looking likely to the northern Sierra. Fantastic news for our snowpack. Temperatures today, 40s to 50s in the northern mountains, 30s to 40s in the Sierra and Southern Cascades. Foothill areas in the 40s to low 50s. Showers with a chance for thunderstorms today and upper 50s to low 60s in the valley. Showers through the day and windy south winds with the chance for thunderstorms developing midday through this evening. Your Storm Tracker 7 day forecast where your weekend's always in view. Not as widespread for showers tomorrow, but there's still a chance and we will have lighter winds and slightly warmer temperatures. More showers likely Friday night through Saturday, drying out for one day and getting warmer for Easter Sunday, but then another wet and cool system moving in early next week, leaving us with cooler temperatures and more wet weather heading your way.